Hello everyone. My name is Saad and I am your chemistry coach and chemistry teacher. I have been teaching chemistry across the globe so many students and so what today we are going to discuss in this video we are going to discuss a very interesting topic and that topic is about the preparation of salt. There are remember guys there are two type of salt. One is soluble salt and other is insoluble salt. In this video in this particular video we will focus upon the preparation of insoluble salt. Oh, let's start, guys. Let me open a whiteboard. Yes, this is our whiteboard. And I have already mentioned what we are going to discuss. We are going to discuss a precipitation of salt. What is precipitation of salt? This is a method to prepare insoluble salt. If we want to prepare insoluble salt, we have to use precipitation method, precipitation of salt. We will cover this topic. We will try to understand this topic in this particular video. The rest is the other is soluble salt. The method to prepare soluble salt is quite different. And we will discuss this method in another video if you guys will ask me to discuss that method. So what is insoluble salt and what is precipitation method? Remember, guys, insoluble salt means that salts which are not which which which, which, which are not soluble, which are simple, which are not soluble. So, guys, just take an example of insoluble salt. For example, I am going to react marble chips. I am going to react marble chips with sulfuric acid. The product I will get, what, what product, which product I will, go, I will get in this particular reaction, I will get calcium sulfate. Remember, calcium sulfate is an insoluble salt and how I will, and how, uh, and how I can figure out calcium sulfate is an insoluble salt. The formula for marble chips is calcium carbonate, CaCO3. The formula for sulfuric acid is H2SO4. When calcium carbonate will react with sulfuric acid, the one product is calcium sulfate and the rest is carbon dioxide and the water. As soon as calcium sulfate will form, what happened? The formation of calcium sulfate immediately stop the reaction at that time. Just imagine this is marble chips, this is calcium carbonate. And when I will react calcium carbonate with sulfuric acid and when calcium sulfate will produce, a layer of calcium sulfate will develop here. A layer of calcium sulfate will develop here. This is the layer of calcium sulfate and that layer stop the further reaction. And this is marble chips. And here, here we have a lot of hydrogen ions which are coming from sulfuric acid. A lot of hydrogen ions which are coming from sulfuric acid. Now, sulfuric acid cannot react with marble chips. Why? Now, sulfuric acid cannot react with marble chips. Why? Because there is a layer of calcium sulfate. That layer of calcium sulfate will stop the further reaction. And this calcium sulfate is an insoluble salt. Insoluble salt. So in this, here we discussed what insoluble salt is. And now how can we prepare that particular insoluble salt? This is my page number two. How can we prepare insoluble salt? The technique is very much, pretty much simple. The method name is precipitation method. Precipitation method. Precipitation method is required to make to produce insoluble salt. The particular reaction in precipitation method is take a soluble salt, take a soluble, soluble salt, 
then again take a soluble salt it means we have to react a soluble salt with an other soluble salt at that time we will get an insoluble salt plus a soluble salt and we get insoluble salt in the form of precipitate we get insoluble salt in the form of precipitate so what's what is the method take a soluble salt and mix that soluble salt with an other soluble salt we will, we will get an insoluble salt by in the form of precipitate and what precipitated i will i will tell in detail sooner the next is soluble salt for example i have to prepare a insoluble salt and the name of that insoluble salt is barium sulfate barium sulfate BaSO4 is its chemical formula and this is insoluble salt insoluble and i have to prepare that insoluble salt what will i choose i will choose a soluble salt then i will choose another soluble salt i will get insoluble salt barium sulfate along with the soluble salt let me prepare a barium sulfate i have choose i have to choose what i have to choose i have to choose two salt one is barium chloride barium chloride barium chloride solution and other is barium oh no there is sodium sulfate the other is sodium sulfate solution okay guys i will take a barium chloride solution the name of barry the, the formula of barium chloride is bscl2 other is sodium sulfate na2so4 the formula for barium chloride is bscl2 it means from barium chloride i will get a barium ion this is barium ion and i will get a two chloride ions from sodium sulfate solution i will get a two sodium ions yes then i will get a one sulfate ion right guys when i will mix barium chloride with sodium sulfate at that time i will get insoluble salt barium sulfate along with the soluble salt so the question is one soluble salt and that one soluble salt is barium chloride barium let me let me first of all let me write word equation barium chloride and i will react barium chloride with sodium sulfate the product i will get is barium barium sulfate which is a insoluble salt along with sodium chloride this is my word equation now let me write this equation in the form of symbols barium chloride bacl2 the next is sodium sulfate na2so4 when i will react barium chloride with sodium sulfate uh, barium chloride so aqueous solution sodium sulfate aqueous solution i will write barium sulfate in the form of solid precipitate barium sulfate along in the form of solid precipitate along with sodium chloride okay so this is this is the way this is the question i will get barium sulfate in the form of solid precipitate now let me open what is this solid now let me explain what what is this solid precipitate going towards next page guys this is our page number 3 so just imagine i am taking a beaker a big beaker or a test tubes this is beaker then i am going to take another beaker here and i am going to take another beaker here let me show that diagram this beaker can chain 
barium chloride. This beaker contains barium chloride and that beaker contains sodium sulfate. Okay, barium chloride solution and sodium sulfate solution. Barium chloride, it means this beaker has a lot of barium, uh, this beaker has a barium ion and chloride ions and this beaker sodium sulfate, this contains sodium ion and sulfate ion, right? Now when, now I will mix barium chloride and sodium sulfate together. Remember, I will mix barium chloride and sodium sulfate together. Then what happened? What happened? This barium ion and this sulfate ion combine together and barium ion and sulfate ion. The barium ion, which are coming from barium chloride and sulfate ion, which are coming from sodium sulfate. They combine together and the product is barium sulfate. What is this? This is ionic equation. This is ionic equation. Okay. And the barium ion, aqueous barium ion and aqueous sulfate ion, when they combine together, I will get a barium sulfate solid in the form of precipitate. And precipitate means a thing which, which settle down in the bottom, a thing which settle down in the bottom. I will get a solid barium sulfate in the bottom. I will get solid barium sulfate. This is insoluble salt. This is my insoluble salt. Its name is barium sulfate. Then guys, I will get, uh, you know, this sodium ion, this sodium ion will combine with this chloride ion, this chloride ion, and I will get a sodium ion and chloride ion, sodium ion and chloride ion. In my aqueous solution, I have sodium ion and chloride ion in aqueous solution. And I have barium sulfate solid in the form of precipitate settled in the bottom of the beaker. This is the way how can I produce insoluble salt in the form of precipitates. So now let me show you the textbook which I am following. Preparation of salt. I hope you can see. And I have chosen. I, I have chosen this diagram, barium ion and sulfate ion combined to form a precipitate of barium sulfate and sodium ion and chloride ion stay in solution. Okay, right. Now let me show you one more thing. And that this, this equation, the reaction, this equation is for reaction, which I have discussed to you in detail, barium chloride is going to react with sodium sulfate. The product is barium sulfate and sodium chloride. Aqueous barium chloride solution is going to react with aqueous sodium sulfate solution. I will get a solid in the form of solid precipitate and aqueous sodium chloride. And this is my ionic equation in which barium ion is going to react with sulfate ion. So this is all much. Now let me check, is there anything which we have not discussed yet? No, we have discussed this diagram as well. So guys, do you have any question? Do you have anything in your mind? Don't hesitate, you can ask me all these things in comment section, you can contact me via my, my WhatsApp number. I am always available to answer your all questions, to facilitate you in your study. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, then please do share this video with your class five classmates and class fellows. Thank you so much for watching my lecture. I hope I am pretty, I am, I am pretty much sure you enjoy my video. Thank you so much for watching.